Avantra's synchronization with the ServiceNow CMDB can now bring structured SAP information into your ServiceNow world using the Service Graph connector from ServiceNow. In this session, I'm going to show you how it all works. Hey everybody, welcome back to Mastering Avantra. In this session, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to set up the synchronization between Avantra and the ServiceNow CMDB using the ServiceNow Service Graph connector. The synchronization all happens in the background and is in this session, I'm going to show you how to set it up to bring the structured information such as SAP system information, SAP notes, clients, namespaces, applications, and much more. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to log into my Avantra installation. And in this case, I'm logged in as an administrator so I can access the administration and synchronizations menu. In here, earlier on, I set up a ServiceNow Service Graph background synchronization job, which you can see here. It's executing once every 240 minutes. Of course, this is completely configurable by you, and it's using some credentials I've already set up for my ServiceNow instance. I also have the option of defining a subset of systems to synchronize to ServiceNow using what we call a system selector. So I've tested the connection to my uh, ServiceNow instance, and I'm kicking off a manual synchronization, but of course that would happen automatically as well in the background. Now let's go on to ServiceNow to see what this looks like over there. So I'm in the CI class manager and I'm going to search for SAP systems under the classes. Now this is a new class that is now delivered as standard with your ServiceNow installation based on a co-innovation with ourselves. And if we, you can see here, it says it over here, CMDB CI SAP SID. Now, if I go to CI list, I can see all of the SAP systems that we've synchronized across to our ServiceNow instance. And the difference now is when I click into the system, I can see all of that amazing structured information like SAP notes, clients, and namespaces. If I scroll down, I can also, oh yeah, I can see the Avantra um, namespace in there as well, which is really cool. So all of that information is available deep within your ServiceNow installation. I also can visualize all of these dependencies using the ServiceNow dependency view, which gives you a really nice visualization of everything that is dependent on this system. Really is a cool way of uh, visualizing root cause or, or seeing uh, what, what uh, this system is connected to. So there we go. So that was a brief look at setting up your synchronization between Avantra and the ServiceNow CMDB using the ServiceNow Service Graph Connector. Thanks very much for watching.